Hey everybody, welcome back to our lessons on patient care. In this lesson, we will discuss HIPAA, or the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act of 1996, its main provisions, and what they mean for your work with patients. It is essential to understand the basic provisions of HIPAA regulations to protect patient confidentiality and privacy and improve the care of your patients. Violating these regulations can lead to financial and or criminal penalties for you and your employer. HIPAA is federal legislation that aims to simplify healthcare transactions, offer insurance coverage to workers transitioning between jobs, and, most important for our discussion, it establishes protections for individuals' health information. While there are a number of rules within HIPAA, it is helpful to remember many of them center on maintaining patient privacy and patient control over their medical information. There are eight essential provisions and rules under HIPAA. Healthcare access, portability, and renewability, Administrative simplification, which includes provisions for preventing healthcare fraud and abuse and medical liability reform. Privacy rule. Security rule. Enforcement rule. Breach notification rule. Omnibus rule. Unique identifiers rule, or National Provider Identifier, or NPI. We will discuss each one of these rules individually. The Healthcare Access, Portability, and Renewability provision ensures that people will not lose their medical insurance coverage when they change or lose their jobs. This assurance comes from the law's requirement that people not be denied coverage for conditions covered under their previous healthcare insurance. This is particularly important for people with chronic or pre existing conditions because it means that they cannot be denied insurance coverage for those conditions by future employers or policies purchased in the open marketplace. The next is the Administrative Simplification Provision, which includes provisions for preventing healthcare fraud and abuse and medical liability reform. This section of HIPAA sets standards for the electronic transmission of financial and administrative transactions and mandates the establishment of national identifiers for providers, health insurance plans, and employers. When Dr. Smith bills an insurance company, he uses a standardized electronic format. This makes the transaction process smoother and reduces errors. The remaining provisions of HIPAA are referred to as rules. The first is the privacy rule. This rule establishes federal protections for protected or personal health information, or PHI, held by physicians, hospitals, or any healthcare provider, and it gives patients rights regarding their health information. Privacy and security are the best known aspects of HIPAA, and the ones that impact daily practice of healthcare workers the most. Healthcare providers should always ensure conversations about patients are held in private settings and avoid discussing patient details in public spaces, such as elevators or cafeterias, where unauthorized individuals might overhear. Additionally, healthcare workers should follow the minimum necessary rule when sharing patient information with others involved in care. Only disclose the minimum necessary information required and only share patient information with the patient's family members or other entities if the patient has given explicit permission to do so. An example of this would be if one hospital wanted to share or disclose PHI with another hospital or any other entity, they are not allowed to do so without that patient's consent. This rule also provides patients the right to request and obtain a copy of their medical records. The next rule is the security rule. This rule sets standards, which must be followed by all healthcare providers, for patient health information security in electronic form. It requires that all healthcare providers establish policies and processes for protection against breaches. An example of this might be the use of encrypted software to store and transmit electronic patient data, ensuring no unauthorized access. Whether paper based or electronic, facilities and healthcare workers should always ensure patient records are secure. This might mean logging out of computer systems, locking file cabinets, or using password-protected software. The third rule is the enforcement rule. This provision outlines procedures for investigations, hearings, and the penalties for violations of HIPAA. This rule works to ensure there are consequences for institutions that fail to protect patient data. Facilities and or providers face penalties based on the nature and extent of the violation and the harm resulting from it. Related to the enforcement rule is the breach notification rule, which says that if a healthcare facility or provider is the victim of an information breach, they and their business associates must notify all patients of the possible breach of their protected health information. For instance, if a hospital's database is hacked and patient data is compromised, the hospital must notify the affected individuals, the Secretary of Health and Human Services, and, in some cases, the media. Over 25 hospitals nationwide have suffered ransomware attacks 
Computer hacks where hospital personnel are blocked from accessing patient information until they pay a ransom to the hackers. These attacks are an example of one which compromises patient data and must be reported under HIPAA regulations. The Unique Identifiers Rule was created to simplify the administrative process around providing health care. This provision required the adoption of a National Provider Identifier, or NPI, to serve as a standard unique identifier for healthcare providers for use in the healthcare system. This means that every healthcare provider in the country has a unique 10 digit number that distinguishes her or him in the healthcare system. This simplifies transactions and communications between entities. In 2013, the Omnibus Rule was implemented, impacting aspects of the privacy, security, enforcement, and breach notification rules. A key part of the Omnibus Rule was expanding the responsibilities of business associates. So if a hospital uses a third-party billing company, that company is also liable for ensuring the protection of patient data. In summary, the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act of 1996, or HIPAA, is a set of regulations that provide people with greater access to, control over, and degree of privacy concerning their healthcare and personal healthcare information. The central provisions are healthcare access, portability, and renewability, prevention of healthcare fraud and abuse, administrative simplification, medical liability reform, privacy rule, security rule, enforcement rule, breach notification rule, omnibus rule, unique identifiers rule, or national provider identifier, or NPI. These provisions outline the rights patients have to receive healthcare coverage and maintain the privacy of their health information, as well as dictating the responsibility healthcare providers have to manage and protect that information and to simplify the process of obtaining, 